The AAC RERC is a rehabilitation engineering research center that functions as a collaborative research group dedicated to the development of effective AAC technology. The mission of the AAC RERC is to assist people who rely on augmentative and alternative communication to achieve their goals by advancing and promoting AAC technologies, in supporting the individuals who use, manufacture, and recommend them. Highlighted activities for 2010 include Dr. Melanie Fredokin and colleagues, Oregon Health and Science University, are investigating the effects of AAC on the communication of adults with progressive aphasia. Early results indicate that the use of AAC can contribute to successful interactions for adults with progressive aphasia. Tom Jacobs and colleagues are developing new technologies to support communication access for persons with minimal movement. New prototype technologies have been successfully used to provide communication access for individuals who previously could not operate communication technology. David Buchelman, University of Nebraska, is examining the effects of visual scene displays on the communication of adults with severe traumatic brain injury and aphasia. Early results provide evidence that the use of visual scene displays can contribute to successful interactions for adults with severe traumatic brain injury and aphasia. Janice Light, Penn State University, is investigating the effects of innovative designs for AAC for young children, including the development of assistive technologies that provide a truly dynamic shared context to support communication and language development. Early intervention using developmentally appropriate AAC technologies can significantly enhance language and communication for young children. Information in these projects and more is available at our website at aacrerc.com. The website also includes links to all of our webcasts, free internet-based presentations on our research, and the experiences of individuals who use AAC. Our most recent webcast is a presentation by Susan Fager and David Buchelman on supporting communication for individuals with minimal movement. A YouTube video is also available. We have also recently developed a TechWatch blog by Jeff Higginbotham, who posts information on new technology research and devices relevant to the AAC community. We have opened the blog for comments and invite you to participate. For more information on the AACRERC, please visit our website at aacrerc.com.